good, Aga Force? Welcome back to the Watch It with McQueen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back. We got my fire hat. Finally in attendance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I've just been, you know what I'm saying, trying to train the waves, trying to get the Dewey, you know, and trying to make sure that the waves is busting, you know, so that way when summertime comes, because it's we're really we're really about to enter like you know prime time summertime right now. You know we about like five six days away. So, um, you know, anyways, enough of the hat. Okay, what's good, Doctor Force? How you guys doing today, man? Today is motherfucking Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful day. Um, uh, I apologize for me not uh, uploading yesterday, but then again, I don't really apologize because. Um, and it's not no disrespect to y'all. It's just, <clears throat> I want to be able to give you guys the best version of me. And the only way I can do that is if I give myself time for self-care. You know what I'm saying? So, um, or else I'm just going to come on here and be boring. And that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to force videos out. Um, so, <clears throat> anyways, we're back now. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, let's get to it, man. We got Adam22 asks Fousey if YBN and Amir stole his girlfriend. You know, a lot of you guys were complaining about, or not a lot, but, you know, there was somebody complaining about the audio. Hopefully it's better this time. Y'all let me know. Um, let's get to it. Are you in any way depressed about why being Namir stealing your ex-girlfriend? Huh? Well, that's what? just so old. They, <laughs> wait, wait. Stealing my ex-girlfriend, you drag. Are you living in 2016, bro? Wait, 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 Let that be happy. Damn. Really wants to make you angry. I'm about to say, <laughs> why would you ask you. that? <laughs> Two, I'm really happy for her and him. I wish them the Wait, best. I hope they get married. Now is your ex girlfriend? No. Yeah, you're talking about now. <laughs> you're talking about now, but how did you feel at the time? Happy for her. Bullshit. I oh, wasn't. What? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what was happened. This, yeah, that's was cat. Why me and Amir was popping, or is this after he wasn't popping? Bro, I'm not talking about him. I didn't even know that part. He's not popping anymore? No I mean, disrespect. That's the only How dare you? Listen, first no of disrespect to you. No, no, no. Hey, hey. Andrew Yang. Shout out, shout out, shout now, out. let's let's not sit here. See, now, like, the funny thing about Adam, bro, is that he picks and chooses, you know, now. He's he's going to sit there and say that YB and Amir is not popping, or he's not going to admit that he's not popping just because of the fact that that's his homie, supposedly. But, I mean, let's be 100. You know, you're very quick to call out somebody when they're truly not popping, and you have no problem with saying that they're not popping. Or asking people questions like this that throw them off the guard or are very polarizing or very low-key insensitive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I get it. You know, it's entertainment. No disrespect towards you, but I'm just saying. Let's just keep it 100 on all, all across the board. Namir is not as popping as he used to be. You know? And that's not to say that he can't get back there. You know? It's just the truth. Is, my nigga, bro, honestly, the, the, the whole situation right now, because of why, the reason why why being in the mirror isn't popping is because of the situation they're talking about right now. The girl. You know what I'm saying? The mirror is a very good rapper, bro. He is. When he's actually focused on himself, it's just, it's just unfortunate what happened, bro. He's not. Let's just be one here. He's not as popping, bro. Shout out, to, shout out to the looks, but I'm saying, was this in the prime of his seat? You feel me? They've been, right. been, right. been, been together for years. She didn't transfer directly from you to him, though, right? This was like she years. Transfer, bro. Bro. Like the 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 only bro. <laughs> no, she had an ex after me, bro. It's okay, okay. That, that's all I wanted to we hear. I be talking about that. I don't, wanted, I don't do stuff like that. I just always wanted to know, so I, I figured out about that. That's what I wanted to know. I always wanted to ask not here. He wanted to but laugh, but you made me laugh. What's fucked up about it? Relationships <laughs> break up and they get with new people. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to know where they, 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 they just love fucking with this nigga Fousey, bro. It doesn't matter. He says bitch. Instead of bitch, he says so sish, which is a crip thing. Just oh, so you know. Okay. So yeah, let's change gears real quick. Fousey, did you ever apologize to Shane Dawson? Mm. I was curious about that. 
He was given permission <laughs> to show up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shane's done his career. Done. Done. You think no, he's, he's really done? Back. No, you he's going to come back. Able, That's exactly what I meant when I brought back James Charles. That's a perfect example. I guarantee you, Shane Dawson comes right back and gets fluttered with love and like, oh, my God. What did he do, though? You, we, we talked about it. Already. He made a lot of jokes. He made jokes about yeah, it. was all jokes. Yeah. yeah, it really yeah. wasn't that crazy. Honestly. Is it just jokes? You I heard a lot more stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. But, like, the shit with, like, he was, like, acting like he was about to fuck the cat. Like, that was about to see a joke, bro. I heard yeah. other ones. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, hey, hey. I, I don't want no cat to, fucker hey, to come back. The Smith family <laughs> came after him. Hey, oh, I see that. Was okay. really did it. Yeah. Oh, because oh, he said something about Willow, right? Nah, he was, like. Fucking dickhead. He was, like. Making love to like a poster of her. No, like, he was pretending to jerk off to a poster. But she was 14, 14 yes, years old. No, no. He's gay. He's never jerked off to a woman. Like, it was we a total joke. No, look. I don't know. He probably quit standing like, up for your people. He uh, did something bad. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's bad for sure. <laughs> right. For sure, it's bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it was a joke. It's not like anyone thinks he's actually a pedophile. It's not like, you know. I don't know. That's what they said. He's saying something different. Yeah, they said it. Who got all I'm saying, fuck. I don't bro. believe that so, any of these that's, YouTubers. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Is like you see how he picks and chooses who he wants to get on. You know, it's like because if that's six nine, you talking your ass off, nigga. But when Shane Dawson does it, oh no, 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 man, nobody thinks that. He's not like that. Joke or not, bro, the nigga was beating off the motherfucking Willow Smith, bro. <laughs> like, or pretending to be, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Canceled couldn't make proper comebacks. I see Chris D'Elia get canceled. He comes right the fuck back. I see him fucking, like David Dilbert, even at the height of him getting hate, his apology had way more likes than dislikes. Exactly, and I talked about that on my shit. He's but when I did fake, When I did fake pranks, right, every video I uploaded got 100,000 dislikes. But he's going to post an apology for all the shit he did and get a uh, million likes? <laughs> this system and society is fucked. Yeah, yeah. Is, he, is he white though? Yeah. yeah, of course. They don't like sand niggas then. <laughs> he said they don't like sand <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> this is a setup. This is a shit. Hey, so we were just having this conversation. Do you think that everybody should be speaking out about the Palestine shit, or do you think that YouTubers who don't know what the fuck they're talking about should just leave it alone? Or Erica Mena should leave it alone. Or should Erica Mena leave it alone? <laughs> Dude, we shouldn't talk about it. We should just switch topics. No, it's hot. It's right. spicy. Right now. No, like, yeah, shit. Hey, if he brought that up, I'm gonna give you this analogy. Right now, if it was, if we were going through, what year was it when we were doing the Black Lives Matter protests and all that stuff? Last year, 2020. Okay, last year. Last year. Every year for the last 40 years. No, but listen to what I'm getting with. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. He just brought up Palestine, so if I don't say anything, that's like if Black Lives Matter got uh, brought up and y'all stay quiet. I can't stay quiet. It's free Palestine till the death of me. Um, uh, what's, I respect that. What's Ooh. happening? I, I'm not against the thing with me, and I said this on my Instagram the other day. Me saying free Palestine doesn't make me anti-Jewish, doesn't make yeah. me anti-Semitic. It's just saying my people deserve human rights. They're getting killed. There's a whole go like there's a government body behind the eradication of their entire civilization and it deserves to be free so if you're scared to stand up for the rights of palestinians i don't know i know a lot of people who aren't i ain't getting mad at them but for me it's free palestine i'm sorry so is it fuck joe biden because he's all pro israel to be honest i'm really upset because i got coerced into thinking oh i'm getting trump out now i'm getting biden and we're good come to find out he's openly admitting to be a zionist and so is kamala harris what the fuck what did i get myself in i mean bro look, listen to me man if, if, if you if anybody still thinks that having a president is going to change anything you are lost nigga all of these niggas are puppets bro all of them okay we have to, you guys got to start waking up and realizing that these niggas aren't in that much control that you think, <clears throat> okay? And despite their control, okay, they're not on your side the way you think. This is all a show. This whole world is a fucking show. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. 
It's not to sit there and make you scared. I'm reminding you, the Aqua Force, because I care about y'all. Don't get, don't sit there and think that the president is going to, nobody, nobody from this point, even no matter how long this shit has been going on, no president is going to change what the fuck is going on. Don't ever sit there. If you have that mentality, oh, oh, this nigga's going to get elected. We're good now. No, drop that shit right now. Because they don't give a fuck about us. They don't give a fuck about what the fuck are our best interests. They don't care. They have a personal agenda that they want to reach, and they're going to do exactly what they need to do to control the people to get that personal agenda accomplished. That's it. You might not want to hear it. You might not believe me. But when shit starts hitting the fan, don't say I didn't tell you. Because it already is. You know what I'm saying? So, when I say enjoy it, I say, what I mean by that is to focus on you. Okay? Focus on you. Do what you need to do to make your life the best that it can on this fucking planet. Because when we pass, nigga, none of this shit matters. None of this shit matters, nigga. (laughs) Okay? Remember that. Money doesn't mean shit. These jobs don't mean shit. All this government shit don't mean a fucking thing, nigga. We gonna be chilling in heaven. Not worried about this shit. So make life the way you want it to make. Don't, all this other shit is dumb, bro. Don't get involved in it. It's not your business. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to give y'all motivation real quick. Two. I sold one bad to get an even worse bad. You think it's worse? Man, man you saying mm. some shit, my boy. Some real shit. He's out here. That's why they be trying to silence you, my boy, because you be saying some real I shit. I said too much shit. I know. Man, you, be, you be keeping it 1,000. It only happens on this podcast, bad, though. Bro. No, but seriously, yeah, like, bro. I got my family in Palestine right now. Yeah, my uncle worked with the Palestinian government his whole life, passed away last year. Like, he fought for the rights of Palestine. My sister became a lawyer at Berkeley Bolt University, but because of her love for Palestine, became a civil rights activist just to advocate all her time for the freedom of Palestine. Mm. She's right now on CNN, on the front line, fighting for the advocation, just trying to explain her piece. Mm. And in all she's saying, she's never saying she wants to see one single Jew hurt. Not saying she wants to see one single Israeli hurt. That's not what we're on about. I don't want death to anybody. I've heard different stuff, what people want from me. I don't want no war. I want nothing. I just want freedom. Let my people go. What do we, what do we, that's, 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 what do, we do when there's no, there's no, there's no, like, equal footing that they could end up on? Like, what is, what is peace? Like, if people are talking about peace, what does peace look like when these two Damn, countries are so at war forever? Adam's, Adam's just really Here we go. Just just realistic. Like, what, 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 is what, is what is the, what is the solution? Look like? This is an honest question because I don't know. Like, what, what does the solution look like? You can't, you can't ask me because like they, this has been going on for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Like the first time, 1948, when this shit all started. Like my dad had to leave Palestine because of this. This isn't new. Yeah, mm. They've yeah. been arguing about a two-state solution, which isn't gonna happen for years. So right now. Yeah, man, <clears throat> I agree with Fuzzy on that one, man. I mean, it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. Humans are human beings, and human beings deserve to be treated like fucking human beings, okay? I'm seeing shit that's going on. It's literally like dead, blown up corpses of children over there, bro. And they're being carried away into ambulances, Like, with their fucking limbs blown up, blown apart. Like, the soul snatched out of their body, nigga. Just a fucking blown up shell of parents and people carrying those bodies. Probably their children. You know? And so on and so forth. That shit is disgusting. You know? So... I'm not going to speak too much on it just because I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know too much about it. Okay, so I don't want to sound uneducated, but I do agree with um, what Fus is saying about it doesn't matter where you're at, you know. You should be for human rights. You should be for peace, and you should wish, you should hope that the world and everybody in it gets treated like a very you know, respectable human being. The same way that we fight for our rights as black people, you should feel the same way about any other race. Even if white people were just getting mercilessly killed, you should care. You know what I'm saying? 
Because every human being, if we we can't, you can't sit there and be like, oh, you know, like uh, the whole the whole thing behind you know us getting killed as black people is that we want to be treated equally. So you, if, if it doesn't matter what race out there is getting slaughtered or treated less than a human being, you should you can't you got to keep that same energy because then we look like fucking hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? So I do agree with him on that. But anyways, uh. I guess that's it about the whole why me in the mirror thing, man. Um, anyways, I guess I'll end the video here, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe.